Hi guys, Amy here. Just wanted to do a little video tutorial for you on your August swag. So these are the new Velvet Cat's Eye colors. And in your swag, you should get two colors, your fabulous new magnet pen, which is one side is a rake and the other side's gonna give us our daisy, kind of like a flower design and then your crystals and I am super excited about these crystals because they are unfoiled so it's gonna go really well over any color because you're gonna kind of see through it and you guys know the really popular like pixie nails that are out there and if anybody's ever worked with the pixies or the crushed crystals they're just really super hard to work with because they are a point back um, to get them to stay in the nail and be really durable and wearable is tough. So these are great because we have these made without the foil and again clear so it's going to give you that pixie look. So you guys will see these up on the website soon. Um, but of course you get them first because you're fabulous swag members. So we wanted to share these with you guys first. And so that's that. And we're going to go right in and just do some designs. And I'm going to use the plum color. And we're going to go in. The first design we're going to do is using the kind of the flower side of the magnet. So we're going to go right in with one coat. And we're going to cure. These are all a 30 second cure. So we've got our base color on there and now we're going to put our second coat on. And then we're going to pick up our magnet. So basically what you want to do is just go directly over, obviously try to avoid hitting the polish. And we're going to get really close to it and it gives us our flower. Super easy. And again, just hovering right over, trying not to touch. So let's say that you weren't real happy with the way that your design uh, came up with your magnet. It's super easy to fix. Just dry off your brush a little bit. You don't want to go in with more polish, but you just want to erase. So your design isn't permanent until we cure. So again, just take your magnet right over top of it and you can see your flowers easily appearing. All right, so like I said, it's not going to be permanent until you cure it. So once you're happy with it, we're going to go and do our 30 second cure. So while that's curing, we'll do another one. Now the difference between this and the one we just did, I am going to design on the base coat. If you design on the base coat with the flower magnet, when you do the second coat, you really have to just match it up and make sure that you are getting the same design if that makes sense or you're it's going to not give you a nice clean flower but when you're using the rake side of it you almost want the depth of two coats having this design into it so what we're going to do is just kind of go right across the nail again try to avoid hitting the polish like i just did okay again and you can just keep going back over until you're happy with the with the design. I like this look. It kind of looks like um, zebra stripes, but it's very it's not even, which is great. That's fine. It kind of gives the look of it. Almost even gives a marbleized look. So we're gonna cure this again. We're in there for 30 seconds. So this is our daisy design. We're going to add our stones in just a minute too. Could, 
So now we're gonna do our second coat with our design on top. And you guys saw how kind of translucent the design area got. So you can always layer these over colors too. You can use it as the color or layer them over something and give it even more depth. Again, we're just placing our rake on and just going right across. And the closer you get, the more clean the design is gonna be. So definitely try to get in there and do you know, get as close as you can without touching. And see the depth this gives us because you can almost see the design underneath too. Just love it. So we'll cure that. And while that's um, getting its final 30 seconds there, we're gonna go back to this one and we're gonna apply our stones. So because these are unfoiled, they're gonna lay a little bit flatter to the nail and they're gonna adhere really well in top coat. So I'm just gonna use Outshine. It's a thicker bodied top coat and it's a no wipe. So if you guys have, I mean, any top coat is gonna work, but just to let you know, I'm grabbing for the Outshine right now, which is usually what I grab for because it's just got such a great consistency. So we're going right over it with the Outshine and then I'm going to grab my stones. So these are kind of hard to see because one side is fauceted and the other side is flat. Make sure that you're laying down the flat side. I know that sounds like a no-brainer, but they're very hard to tell. So just kind of, you know, shake your jar a little bit and make sure that you're, you're grabbing them on the right side. And you're just gonna lay it right in the center of your flowers. And there's a couple different sizes in there. And if I was doing like a full nail of these um, or a thicker cluster of them, I would probably use the glue or even bling on or something a little bit thicker because just to hold them on a little bit better. But when you're doing such a, you know, a sparse design like this, you don't need to, um, you don't need to worry. The outshine will kind of bezel them in a little bit or bevel them in. put one right here and it's nice too because it gives you a little bit of time if you need to move them around and we have a couple of friends have actually experienced it already I'm jealous of them because we haven't done it but uh, you actually could win tickets to go to Universal Orlando all you have to do is sign up on the website right now why one under Florida and we're gonna do one more right up in the corner <laughs> And then we're gonna cure. All right, and when you're happy, then we're gonna cure. We're gonna do one more. And I'm gonna start it with just the base. I am gonna cure this. And we're gonna do a design with both sides of the magnet. And this is actually a really pretty color even on its own. It's a nice taupey, taupey plum. Here's our finished one that we did with the rake side and you can see it just gives it kind of a marbleized or maybe even a zebra. It's just so pretty and it's easy. We're all about easy. I still work in the salon and I still book on the hour every hour. I want to impress my clients with art and I want to keep impressing them with different things but it needs to be able to be done in an hour. 
All right, so we're gonna cure that guy. Here's this one all finished with our flowers. And you can see, if I can get up here, you can get a pretty decent um, look at this. You can see how the outshine has really kind of formed up around the stones. So these will hold on like that. But again, if I was doing a full nail, I would use something like Bling On from Accents or maybe even our onesie gel just to hold them all in there. If you were doing that look where you wanted to get that pixie nail. All right. So now we're gonna do second coat on this one. And then we're gonna go in with our flower side first. I'm gonna go right in the center. And then I'm gonna use the rake side and just give myself a little bit of detail at the bottom and maybe a little bit at the top. And we're gonna cure that. So all cured, we're gonna do our top coat again. And there is a little fuzz in there. And we're gonna put one stone right in the middle of that flower. Like so. And then we're gonna cure this. I'll get a good picture of all of them when they come out. But again, there are, I, I on your card, it's showing you all the six colors. So depending on which colors you um, got in your swag, it was very random. Um, all the other colors will be up on the website within a week. We always like to have you guys have stuff first and play with stuff first. So um, the stones and the colors will be up next week on the website. Not sure if you guys saw it, but on Tracy's Facebook page, we announced a little competition that we're going to have this month. We want some videos and some pictures of you guys unboxing your swag. So the top three, no, I'm sorry, top five videos or pictures of swag unboxing on your social media. Make sure you tag us on Facebook or, and or Instagram. And we're going to send you guys some goodies for those top five in your next swag. And you know Tracy and I do not do cheesy goodies. We do really good goodies. So make sure you tag us so that we see it. And make sure, again, you guys tag us in your videos for or your pictures that you come up with for all, all your cat's eyes. And I'll get a nice picture of all these for you. And guys, have fun. Happy nailing.